So go to accounting chapter 7, AS, trial balance. So I talk about trial balance. Trial balance is a list of balances from extracted from the ledger account. List of balances extracted from the ledger yeah. account. So that is why we call it a trial balance. So what are the purpose of trial balance? Here I wrote, the main purpose of trial balance is to check the arithmetic accuracy of the ledger account. So we need to check the calculation, if it is right or wrong. So that means our trial balance must balance. That is the point. So as soon as it balances, it means there is accuracy in our ledger account. But it doesn't mean that we have not wrong posted. Sometimes we might wrong post. But as soon as we go further, you understand why how a trial balance will still balance despite mistakes in the trial balance. It is possible. But first, at least the trial balance checks the accuracy. It's a, it's, a, it's a way of controlling the transactions of a business. So it's also it's also an intermediate step in the preparation of the financial statement and the statement of, of financial statement which comprises the statement of profit or loss, another comprehensive income and the statement of financial position. So to prepare a, a finance, the financial statement, you need the trial balance. I think your point is clear. So how do we get to the financial statement? So it starts from the source document. As soon as the transaction is done, as soon as a business has a transaction with other businesses, receipts will be issued, invoices will be issued, all these are source documents. So you compile these source documents into, then you put them into the books of prime entry, which are the journals and the rest. As soon as it's posted in the journal, then you extract it into the ledger account. Then from the ledger account, the final figures from the ledger account of each individual account, you take them into the trial balance. So from the trial balance, as soon as the trial balance is balanced, then you prepare your financial statement. Any question about that? No. So in preparing the trial balance, the trial balance has two sides, the debit side and the credit side. Are you with me? So on the debit side of your trial balance, you have your assets, you have expenses, you have drawings, you have purchases on the, on the debit side. And whatever uh, expenditures you have, it's always on the debit side. Then the credit side. Then note also, in your, in your debit side, you're going to have interest paid. So whatever interest you get paid for, you know, maybe you, you, you save money in the bank, interest is being paid, it's going to be on the debit side of the trial balance. And uh, trade receivables? On the debit side. Okay. Then on the credit side of your trial balance, you have your liabilities, you have your other incomes, you have capital, you have revenue. You have trade payables. You have trade payables, you have irrecoverable debts. And you, depreciation. You recover that to double R. You recover So I or no. R. Yeah, recoverable debts. Okay. It's always also in the debt credit side. And recoverable debts. Recovered. Debt recovered will be on the credit side if there is any. They have depreciation. It's also on the credit side. Depreciation. Depreciation on the debit side. Is it clear? Of course. So that takes us to the full format of the trial balance, which is this. This is a full format. Of the trial balance so i'm just going to read the items in the trial balance for the full format of the trial balance on the debit side on the on the debit side we have so what about revenue returns revenue returns is going to be on the debit debit side yes oh, so revenue so i have it here on the format here so i have it here That's so the, the full format of the trial balance we have capital on the credit side we have drawings on the debit side we have sales on the credit side we have purchases on the debit side loan on the credit side Trade receivables on the debit mm -hmm. side, trade payables on the credit side, revenue returns on the debit side, on the debit side, machinery on the debit side, motor vehicle on the debit side, cash, revenue or sales returns on the debit side, purchases returns on the credit side, motor expenses on the debit side, fixtures and fittings on the debit side, bank on the debit side, cash on the debit side, cash also on the debit side, interest paid on the debit side, interest. Uh, Interest on loan on the credit side. Interest on loan. Interest on loan on the credit side. Are you with me? Are you with me, please? Then we have no interest. Yes, interest paid is on the debit side. Uh, is the same as interest? Interest debit or credit side? No, interest received. Interest received on the credit side. Interest that you receive. Yeah. Maybe from the bank on the yeah, credit side. Perfect. That's income. It's an income. Yeah. Then we have premises on the debit side, cash on the debit side. So that's how we prepare a trial balance. Then we we'll go to the oh, limitations. Limitations of the trial balance. So when we talk about limitations of the trial balance, so I wrote 
This parabolas may balance, but doesn't mean it doesn't mean that all entries enter that right. The following are the setbacks of travel balance. What are the setbacks of travel balance? Number one, it only gives summarized information of each account. So, like trade receivables, the combination of the trade receivables we cannot know. We only find the final figure of the trade receivables. So, how do we put together all the trade receivables in the business? We're not going to find it out in the travel balance. We only have a summarized value. Okay. That's that's a disadvantage because you might not be able to trace. It. All the traces mm -hmm. until you find out the ledger or the journal. Clear. Okay. So it doesn't provide information of profit or loss of the business. You wouldn't know the profit or loss of the business until you provide you prepare the statement of profit or loss and comprehensive income. The third point: some errors made in the double entry system may not be revealed. So these errors do not affect trial balance. So your trial balance will still balance, but there are errors in the trial balance. For example, like error of commission. Where you have motor vehicle account and motor expenses account, both are debit entries. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So because you have re you recorded motor expenses to motor vehicle account and you recorded motor uh, motor vehicle account to motor expenses account, the entire balance will still balance because they are both deb debit entry. Do you understand? So these errors, like error of omission, error of commission, compensating error, error of original entry, reversal error, and uh, error of principal, all these errors. Will, are errors, but they would not affect the trial balance. Is it clear? Okay. So that takes us to the activity. New video. So we have activity one to get done. I will explain limitations. So we go to activity one. The following balances we extracted from C. Wells books at 31st of December 2018. So these are the items that they said we should prepare the trial balance for CUA at 31st December 2018. So the headings for the trial balance is CUA trial balance as that. The headline should be as at December 2018. So based on the items we have, I, 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 I rearrange them. I start with capital because capital is your money the owner of the business has starts with. So capital is 5,446. 5,446, that's going to be on the credit side of the trial balance. Revenue, which is one, uh, 10850 on the credit side of the trial balance. Then administrative expenses, 1316 on the debit, debit side. Purchases, 5180 on the debit side. Motor vehicle at cost, 5600. Fixtures and fixtures at cost, 4200. Property at cost, 5600. Loan, that's a liability, is on the credit side, 1680. Then we have advertising, 280 on the debit side. Loan interest, Let me interest on loan. Yeah. That is loan paid. Interest paid, sorry, interest paid. Or loan interest or interest paid is the same, okay? Interest paid. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. 56. Bank of a drought, which is a credit facility that allows a bank customer or a, credit, or a bank customer to withdraw more than its available balance. Yeah. That's a liability, a short-term liability or, or current liability. It's on the credit Mr. side. Administration expenses. 840. Administrative expenses is on the debit side also. Where? Administrative expenses. Yeah, I said it already from the beginning. Trade receivables on the debit side. Trade payables on the credit side for 2086. Statement of profit or loss. We have our figure for statement of profit or loss for 5250 on the credit side. Allowance for irrecoverable debt on the debit credit side. Inventory. Open inventory. On the debit side. Note, for your statement of for, in a, in your statement of financial position, your your closing you record your closing inventory. That's the value of the assets you have. Just put that in mind anyway. Then depreciation on motor vehicle on the credit side. Depreciation on fixtures and fittings on the credit side. Those are depreciation. So the total value of the debit side. Is twenty eight thousand eight eighty two, and the total value on the credit side is twenty eight thousand eight eighty two. So our trial balance balanced. Thank you. Welcome. Then we we'll go to activity two. For activity two, it said Rashmi is the owner of an electrical repair business. After the first year of operations, she presented the following trial balance, which did not balance because the number of accounts were shown in the incorrect column. So what we have oh, to do so is... Oh, so we got to fix it. Yeah, so we readjust, we call it adjusted trial balance for Rashmi. Adjusted trial balance for Rashmi. 
So cash is recorded well. That's cash is okay there. Trade is available is also fine. It's in the right column. Inventory, opening inventory is supposed to be on the debit side, not on the credit side. So we take it back to the debit side. Equipment is recorded on the, on the right side. It's fine. Trade payables is on the right, left side. It's fine. Then we have capital account, which is on the debit side. No, it's supposed to be on the credit side. We place it back on the credit side. Drawing is supposed to be on the debit side. It's, it's recorded on the credit side. You put it back on the debit side. Revenue, it's supposed to be on the credit side. It's recorded on the debit side. You put it back to the credit side. Rent is an expenses. It's, re it's recorded in the right position. Put it back. Travel and motor expenses is also recorded in the right position. So the total balance of the items in the debit side is 55000 on the credit side is 55,000. So that makes it our balance to balance. So we have other activities to get done. Thank okay, you. Mr.